All right, let's get started with setting up our React application. So usually before I start even coding anything in React, I, there's a few housekeeping things I always perform. First, I always make a .env.local file. Usually this is where you can store your database API keys and stuff, but we don't need that for Pocketbase because we have different sets of authentication rules that we'll see in a moment. But what I still make this file because I always want to set the browser environment variable equal to none so that React doesn't make a new browser window appear and pop up on my screen every single time I restart the server. The next thing I'm, I'm going to do is I usually make a jsconfig.json file and just paste this in here. And what this does is it basically enables absolute import. So you don't have to, there's no import dot dot slash dot slash dot slash in React. You can just import from the source directory and treating the source directory as the root directory. All right, step two of create React app housekeeping is we will go to source and just get rid of all of the clutter that we don't need here. So basically it's everything about index.js and app.js. And even in the index.js file, we'll have to get rid of a few things as well as the report web vitals. And here in app, oh, we don't need that. So get rid of that. Just return React fragment for now. There we go. Now let's install the Pocketbase JavaScript SDK. So open up terminal, do yarn add Pocketbase. All well, that command's running. I'm gonna go and make a folder here called library. And in here we can make our pocketbase.js file. And we're gonna import the Pocketbase class from Pocketbase. And we can set the constant PB equals to the new Pocketbase instance. And in here, just put in the link to your Pocketbase, the IP address or your domain. And then here we just export default pb and that gives us a pocket base handle that we can use from our other modules and instead of hard coding this url here because i know we're going to change this we're going to deploy this on some other server in the future and referencing localhost from your browser just will not work so instead of just doing that we can just use environment variables from the get-go we can just do pocket base underscore url equals to this and then just come here and just do actually I might I think because this is a react app we have to do something like react underscore we have to add a prefix uh, react underscore app there and let's do process dot env dot and whatever the name just remember to prefix your environment variable names with react underscore app if you're using create react app and the reason behind this convention can be found here in the create react app documentation site if you're interested you can just go and look it up and i will go ahead and start our server with yarn start and go to our local host 3000 and open up the console here and let's resize that 